and we're gonna have more faith in speaking with tongues you're gonna want to speak in tongues more after this message than you did before you came in here well I really wanted to speak a lot before I came in here well good you'll want to speak more because you'll understand why and you'll have more faith because the fact is you're speaking in faith the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words by speaking in agreement with his word well I have a message here tonight and if you'll listen your faith will increase and you'll be able to be changed by it so Acts chapter 2 and we might as well just begin right at verse 1 Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon two of them yeah. nope it sat upon each of them so everyone in there everyone verse 4 Acts chapter 2 verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost are you here yes. they were all filled with the Holy Ghost well this is this is a fulfillment of the prophecy that Jesus said he said when I go away I'm gonna I'll be at the right hand of the Father I will send another mm -hmm. right yes. and the another we knew was the Holy Ghost the comforter he said it as much the comforter who is the Holy Ghost whom I will send this is the culmination here's here's the fulfillment of what Jesus said they were all filled with the Holy Ghost well how do we know they were filled with the Holy Ghost because they twitched they rolled around they stuttered no look what it says they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak so who is it implying that speaking is it the Holy Ghost that's speaking no they began to speak they were filled they began to speak with other tongues meaning tongues they didn't understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as the Spirit gave them utterance so that's how it happens you receive the Holy Ghost and when I receive the Holy Ghost he starts to give me utterance but I have to be willing to speak them out and that's num the number one problem with people who say they've tried to receive the Holy Ghost and don't speak with tongues is that they aren't willing to open their mouth and speak mm -hmm. so they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak beginning meaning they stopped no they began it was the beginning of speaking in tongues and from this point forward in the scriptures we see speaking in tongues continuing it could have said and they continued to speak and it keeps going till today mm -hmm. are you here yes. they were all filled with the, other, with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues and they weren't filled with tongues they were filled with the whole people have so many squirrely ideas around this which is why you got to preach on it a lot they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance now why tongues why is this thing here's the Holy Ghost he could have done anything he wanted to when he came into the earth he could have said I'm gonna have everybody that receives me because that was a prophecy he was coming but he came into the earth he could have said I'm gonna have everybody float two inches off the ground and when they, when whoever floats two inches off the ground will know they were filled with the Holy Ghost right and he could have done anything he wanted he's God but this was his idea he came up with this he said I'm gonna come down in here into the earth and this is what's gonna happen and when they yield their willingness to me to speak I will give them the ability to speak with other tongues as I give them utterance mm -hmm. so why why would he do this that's what I'm gonna look at today are you here yes. and we're gonna have more faith in speaking with tongues you're gonna to want to speak in tongues more after this message than you did before you came in here well I really wanted to speak a lot before I came in here well good you'll want to speak more because you'll understand why and you'll have more faith because the fact is you're speaking in faith 
words that he gives you mm -hmm. and again it's the number one problem of people I've had people like that say they've received and yet they don't speak it's because they were unwilling to open their mouth and say something that they didn't understand so why tongues he could have chosen anything but he chose this method now when you start we'll start to see why he did it as we go through this message today but he's giving you things to say you might not understand what they are but he's giving you things say things things, things to say now is that a big deal to God mm -hmm. God saying things yeah it's how everything came into existence here is by saying things so when we can begin to yield with our will our tongues to say the same thing that he's saying we're walking with him we're walking with God so they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance another verse of Scripture says that they spoke with tongues and magnified God you remember that Acts chapter 10 44 while Peter yet spake these words the Holy Ghost who the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word he was in the earth now you understand and they that of the circumcision which believed were astonished as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles was also poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God how did they know that the Holy Ghost had come on them for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God you know if somebody says you know oh yeah I'm filled with the Holy Ghost they'll just go well, let me hear you mm -hmm. that's the proof and if they start speaking in tongues for you you'll go okay <laughs> you are filled with the Holy Ghost that's the evidence but here it says they were all heard them speak with tongues and magnify God so speaking in tongues magnifies God now I don't doubt that they weren't saying praise the Lord or things like that but here it says speaking in tongues and magnifying God so one thing that speaking in tongues does is magnify God the Holy Ghost in you by magnify it means it enlarges you've ever had a magnifier mm -hmm. ever use one you look at things what's it do it enlarges it causes you to see something that maybe you couldn't see before mm -hmm. causes you to see details that you couldn't see before magnifies God it enlarges God where God in you God in the earth but on the inside of you magnifies God to you so when I speak in tongues God gets bigger say that when I speak in tongues, speak in tongues God gets bigger God he increases his work in my life when I speak in tongues are you seeing this I'm magnifying him so the more I speak in tongues the bigger God gets God who it would have to be the Holy Ghost because that's exactly who they received they received the Holy Ghost began to speak with tongues and God was beginning to get magnified so it enlarges God it makes him bigger speaking in tongues should lead to magnifying God right should lead to the worship of the Holy Ghost but yet that's barren in most churches worshiping the Holy Ghost it should if, if God is magnified in you right what what no you're not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost God is in you right mm -hmm. the temple should worship God praying in tongues should lead you to magnifying God making him bigger so that he is God in you and in the earth are you here yes. should you literally you have to be religiously taught to not get come to that conclusion and I've said this before remember Jesus Jesus when he sent the Holy Ghost do you think that he knew the Holy Ghost was God I think he did right you know I can prove that he did by the scriptures mm -hmm. he called him Lord when he was with him in the earth the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he's anointed me who'd anointed him the Lord the Spirit of the Lord right yes. so Jesus knew he was God so in heaven he knew the Holy Ghost was God and he knew he was gonna send God into the earth 
God who would be magnified in the people when they began to speak in tongues should they not worship him shouldn't that be one of the first things you do as a temple of God is worship the one to whom you are a temple mm -hmm. yes so one of the first things that praying in tongues a lot will do will magnify God it will magnify his ability in your life it'll magnify his power in your life let's look at that go to Acts chapter 1 Acts 1 8 but you shall receive what power after the Holy Ghost is come on you well what happened after the Holy Ghost came on them what was the evidence of the Holy Ghost coming on them which happened they spoke with other tongues right yes. so you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you the Holy Ghost came on them and then after they spoke with tongues are you here so the power comes after the speaking it's always that way throughout the scripture the power comes after the speaking so if you want power in God you're gonna have to do some speaking in agreement with God does this make sense mm -hmm. what kind of power you say power to live power to live your life living power right mm -hmm. What kind what do you mean live what power to be healed power to be prospered right power to be blessed power to believe the promises power to have your youth renewed also the gifts of the Spirit they come after the speaking in other tongues here in fact it says this look you shall you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be witnesses you shall be bad witnesses is that what it said no. of my kingdom no so the power part of the power is so that you could be and live a life that you're called to live where does that power come from it comes after the speaking in tongues it's God's method he chose this way to do it power comes after the speaking this is God's method it's God's way go to Hebrews chapter 11 building your faith in speaking with other tongues and then the end result should be you speaking in tongues more mm -hmm. you think God wants you to speak in tongues more yes. yeah you think it's a big deal to the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. huge huge deal it's the one thing he did when he came into the earth Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God what were the worlds framed by the word. the word of God where are you now in one of those worlds mm -hmm. what is everything around you framed by the Word of God what is your physical body framed by the Word of God, the word of God. I could take you back to the book of Genesis remember in the beginning God said the Spirit of God moved and God said and it was so that's how you got here That's how the world got here that's how everything in the earth it's all made of words and then you go oh why would God want us to speak words his words willingly as he gives us utterance because then we're able to speak his words and order things the right way he framed the world you're beginning to frame your world by speaking in other tongues let me read that again Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear the words and he spoke the words and they came into being say he spoke the words spoke the word. and they came into being came into who did this God the Holy Ghost so here he comes in the book of Acts chapter 2 look what he does again he begins to use you to speak his words where where are you speaking them into the world into the earth why is that so he can have his will done in your life I hope you're seeing this it's who he is he's always been that way that's how God works in order for him to do anything in the earth he must speak words 
in order for him the Holy Ghost to do anything in the earth he must speak words in order for the Holy Ghost to do anything in the earth he must speak words in order for the Holy Ghost to do anything in the earth he must speak words how's he gonna speak words through you so the more you speak his words in other tongues the more he's gonna be able to do for you in order for him to do anything in your life or for you he must have his words spoken won't do it otherwise can't do it otherwise is severely limited in what he can do for you hey the Holy Ghost is severely limited in what he can do for you unless you speak in tongues enough and a lot do you want to limit the Holy Ghost the Bible says they limited the Holy One people are doing it all over the place we have whole denominations completely limiting the Holy One because they won't even let them speak in tongues mm -hmm. then we have people that speak in tongues only once and think that's it they didn't continue don't be like that be like Paul who said I speak in tongues more than you all so in order for the Holy Ghost to do anything in the earth he must speak words in order for him to do anything in your life he must have his word spoken in your life mm -hmm. who's the best person to speak words in your life Me. my doctor mm -hmm. my lawyer no you you speak it's your life and you get begin to frame the words frame the world that the Holy Ghost has made for you out in front of you and then you just have to walk out in it and it's very easy I hope you heard that so it's his number one method of provision think about God Holy Ghost he has to have words spoken to do anything what's his number one method of providing then for his people something else no his word by speaking words it's his number one method of provision mm -hmm. and speaking in tongues is one of his number one methods of doing it it didn't say and when he came down on, on the day of Pentecost they began to quote scriptures and that's how we knew they were they were filled it's extremely important people don't think it's as, as important as they should but God obviously thought that it was very important it's his number one method of provision when you speak you have when you don't speak you have not brother you're making me want to speak speak in tongues more yeah because now you you have more faith in speaking in tongues that of what it's doing a lot of people just think it doesn't do anything speaking in tongues requires no particular talent but simply a willingness to speak as he gives you utterance in faith you have to be really talented to speak in tongues no that's it because otherwise you know on the day of Pentecost only the four best talented people that were there the ones that were linguists they weren't educated so that they could do it they didn't have talents so they could do it. it doesn't take any particular talent but a willingness you have to be willing to speak right now I can speak in tongues as long as I'm willing to do it some people are unwilling to speak we can see why he chose this method now the Holy Ghost is literally the smartest being in the universe and he had one thing to do when he goes okay this is what I'm gonna do when I come into the earth I'm gonna give them the ability to speak as I give utterance genius mm -hmm. I'm able to say what he's saying and I can do it all day any day anytime as long as I'm willing to it's the smart here's the smartest being in the universe giving this is what he's gonna do and people are like eh, I don't know yeah because you don't know you're not seeing the full extent of what he's brought into the earth and given you which unlocks the doors to all the gifts of the Spirit and all of your call and all of the blessings including youth renewal and healing and prosperity they all come through the promise the Holy Ghost when they talked of receiving the Holy Ghost and speaking with tongues they said this is the promise which was promised to you are you getting this embedded in it are all the promises first Corinthians chapter 2 glory be to God forever let's look at verse 12 now 
we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God is he talking about the same thing people that have received the spirit of God yeah if they've received the Spirit of God what was the evidence of that speaking, speaking in other tongues we have received now we have received past tense we have received not the Spirit of the world but we have received the Spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God how are we gonna know the things that are freely given to us of God he said we received the Spirit of God which means they must have spoke with tongues right that we might know the things that are freely given to us of, of God verse 13 which things also we speak how are you gonna get the things that are freely given to you of God some other way brother some other way no you're gonna get them one way you're gonna get them God's way and God's way is to speak you will speak them forth first he that speaks has mm -hmm. are you seeing this mm -hmm. now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak so what are you speaking you're speaking the things that are freely given to you of God he's given what who's the God that's given you these things the Holy Ghost he's given you these words to speak that are things that are freely given is healing freely given to you yes. is prosperity freely given to you yes. is youth renewal freely given to you yes. are the gifts of the Spirit freely given to you yes. what things are you speaking those things are you here yes. which things also we speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches but which the Holy Ghost teaches again that's speaking in other tongues he's giving you words that he taught you to say comparing spiritual things with spiritual words or matching up the the corresponding spiritual thing with the correct spiritual word and you speak it out it's his method it's his number one method of provision we have received that we might know the things and receive the things mm -hmm. how do we do it by speaking what if I don't speak what if I don't want to speak I spoke once but I don't want to keep speaking then you've got things that you that God wants to get over to you that you can't have because you haven't spoken them out all the things he wants you to have that would be his will his will for your life his will for your family the blessing that's on you from Abraham that makes you a blessing you can speak in tongues enough and get healed you can speak in tongues enough and get prospered you can speak in tongues enough and everybody around you gets prospered and blessed oh, I don't think it's that important then you're not listening I've been showing you line upon line how this is God's method and this is why he gave you those things to speak you're speaking things go to Romans chapter 8 you getting anything out of this Romans chapter 8 let's look at verse 26 likewise the spirit or in the same way the spirit also helpeth our infirmities so the spirit here would be the Holy Ghost here it says the Holy Ghost personally gets involved with and helps our infirmities the word infirmities is the most common word in the Greek for sickness so you wouldn't be wrong in putting sickness in there you mean the Holy Ghost will help my sicknesses but infirmities could also mean lack it could be where you've fallen down your weakness your inability right mm -hmm. and I think that's even more more uh, pertinent here your inability from what he's gonna say in a, in a minute he says the Spirit the Holy Spirit himself also helps our infirmities or weaknesses for we know not what we should pray for as we ought now I want to just take a second here Jesus said that when you pray say remember that mm -hmm. he's talking about the Lord's Prayer he says when you pray say when you pray say 
so I'm gonna take the liberty here so anytime you see the word pray in the Bible you can also put the word say there because that's what you're doing when you pray you're gonna say yes. right mm -hmm. so here likewise the Spirit also help us our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. we know not what we should say for as we ought what if I knew how to say for as I ought in any situation like God mm -hmm. let's say I've increased my faith and I know how to walk by faith and I do and I know how to say for as I ought now we already have seen that God does everything by words and we're growing up into him we're children of the Most High you understand that right mm -hmm. we're supposed to be growing up to be like him what if I knew how to be like him and say for as I ought would I have a problem with sickness and disease no because no, I knew how to say about it as I ought meaning with the right faith with the right tenant all those things right mm -hmm. would I have a problem with with poverty mm -hmm. no because I know how to say for as I ought I wouldn't have a problem with anything looky here likewise the Spirit helps our inability weaknesses shortcomings sicknesses for we know not what we should say for as we, we ought but the Spirit himself personally makes intercession for us or speaks on our behalf that's when they intercede means it also means advocate like if you had an, a lawyer that was advocating for you he'd be speaking on your behalf are you here we have the Holy Spirit personally speaking on our behalf with our groaning meaning when we're speaking in other tongues he is speaking on our behalf we're able to say for as we ought that was our weakness we didn't know how to say for as we ought in fact if you had if any weakness in your life is a matter of not being able to say for it as you ought are you hearing that any weakness any belly any sickness any pot whatever it is any lack is an inability to say for it as you ought but the Spirit himself this is where it gets good the Spirit himself makes intercession for us advocates helps on our behalf with our groanings with our speaking in tongues are you here mm -hmm. those things which could not be uttered that was our weakness we didn't know what to say he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit because he makes intercession he speaks on behalf of the saints according to the will of God and verse 28 and after doing that we know all things work together for good now if I did know how to say and speak about something as I ought I wouldn't have a problem with it because I would be able to speak to it remember Jesus said what about the mountain have the faith of God speak to the mountain and it shall be removed if I knew how to say as I ought I wouldn't have a problem with mountains would I so if I know how to say for as I ought and, and I knew how to do that wouldn't I be built up on my most holy faith wouldn't I have to be on a most holy faith on a standing of the most holiness of faith that I could be on and then I wouldn't have a problem Jude chapter 1 and then verse 20 but you beloved building yourselves up on your most holy faith what would your most holy faith be it would be a faith that has the ability to say things as it ought if I knew how to say for as I ought that would be my most holy faith but you beloved building yourself up on your most holy faith what praying in the Holy Ghost what is praying in the Holy Ghost it's speaking in other tongues I'm building myself up on my most holy faith speaking in other tongues I'm building myself up on my most holy faith speaking in other tongues now if he said to build yourself up on your most holy faith praying in other tongues or speaking in other tongues what if I don't do that is it possible for me to obtain my most holy faith no. no here's a promise but the promise also excludes people who don't do it okay. most people don't like that mm -hmm. right 
but you beloved building yourselves up on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost why would I be able to be on my most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost because I'm speaking as he gives me utterance he's the one helping me remember in Romans chapter 8 he helps my inability to say for as I ought he takes up that weakness and I'm able to speak with him things as I ought well without praying in tongues it's not possible praying in tongues will magnify God in your life it'll magnify his job in your life it'll magnify his place in your life right in fact his place in your life is to teach you all things to bring all things to your remembrance when you pray in tongues he'll bring things to your remembrance when you pray in tongues he'll teach you all things all things all things what about things at the workplace what about things online what about things in society what about things? all things when I pray in tongues as I ought I'm speaking as I ought praying in tongues has the distinct ability to cause you to hear the Word of God when you pray in tongues a lot you get in tune with what the Holy Ghost is saying because he's giving you those words and you keep saying them and you keep saying them praying in tongues has the distinct ability to cause you to hear the word about word of God he increases your ability to hear and prove it out pray in tongues for an hour a day and then you, you open your Bible and things come out of it that you never knew were even in there why would that happen who's doing that is that your special ability no the Holy Ghost he's magnifying the scriptures he's opening your ears that were clogged I've seen it I have pe people that I minister to some people I'll be able to speak to them and the word will go right into them and it'll change them other people everything you say bounces off to them off them and it's like you said nothing and they're looking around and okay see you later you know it's like they're they're gone they're not, nothing that you said was available to them just bounced off them speaking in tongues magnifies God and makes his word available to you increases it and one of the greatest tips that I've ever found is when you're confessing the word you're in the natural you're confessing the word you're saying my God supplies all my need according to his riches and glory maybe you claim something maybe you claimed a healing for someone or you claim a healing for yourself you know how we do we claim healing or we claim whatever it is we're doing we're confessing the word over it then immediately what after what happens after that is your mind goes oh I don't know if that did anything <laughs> right your mind kind of combats you for a while there one of the best greatest tips I've had over the years is because we got the Holy Ghost who's gonna help us is that when I say something I make my declaration I decree something I speak something I confess something and then I simply go and pray in tongues I begin to speak in tongues over it now that has a twofold application number one it begins to magnify God in that situation and build you up on what your most holy faith doesn't mean your confession wasn't straight wasn't holy enough but it says we can't get to our most holy faith without praying in other tongues so if I confess the word over something you hear and then I begin to speak in tongues he will build me he will build me up on my most holy faith being able to speak as I ought to over the situation the other thing that happens is your mind goes quiet first Corinthians 14 14 says when I pray in tongues my spirit prays but my understand understanding is unfruitful meaning or it goes silent my understanding doesn't understand what I'm saying and it's a great tip I've done it many many times to great success I remember one time I've told you this story before but this was early on I was in this this convention I, the convention was really good and I wanted the tapes but I was a young kid I didn't have enough money for the tapes but I went up in line and you know and I got in line with everybody else and so the person comes up to me and asks me you know what they could help me with and I just pointed to the tapes that I wanted and I said tapes in Jesus name you come to me and I just turned and walked away <laughs> of course they looked at me strangely 
but right after that you can imagine what your mind does well am as I'm saying it my mind is going you are an idiot this is ridiculous and then I what as I started to walk away I began to speak in other tongues and as I spoke in other tongues I ignored my mind what's the best way to ignore your mind is by speaking in other tongues just let it let it let it go quiet see because faith is not a mental thing faith is a spiritual operation it comes from the spirit and we try to wrestle with it in our mind and lose don't even wrestle with it in your mind do your confession use your mind to get your confession straight say it and then build yourself up on your most holy faith speaking in other tongues over it and just let your mind go silent are you here mm -hmm. believe in the process works beyond the thinking realm it works above the realm of what you can think or believe or really what you can believe the next service I think it was probably the next day I was up on the front row because that's where I always I would always go to these conventions I'd be there early and we'd you know we'd run the race and push and shove to get to the front row <laughs> but we get out to the front row and um they're there he's preaching gets and all of a sudden he stops and he comes up and he goes you know the Lord just spoke to me and just said to give the first 10 people that come up here all the tapes to this to this convention Amen. boom I was up there quicker than anybody so. but glory to God yes. but the function was is that I was able to shut my mind off and not try to battle with this arguative mind and the circumstances because your mind will come up with a thousand different reasons why it can't come to pass mm -hmm. but we're not dealing with that realm we're dealing in the spiritual realm and with the Holy Ghost who could do anything and back then I didn't know what all the things I'm telling you tonight mm -hmm. where I was then I, I spoke my faith but then he built me up on my most holy faith which you can't get to without speaking in other tongues so frankly if we're just confessing the word just confessing the word we're leaving an element out we need to confess the word and then speak as he gives us utterance mm -hmm. in our most holy faith so it works beyond what you can understand you know there's a verse of scripture that says having done all to stand mm -hmm. well if you've confessed your scriptures maybe you've given and you've confessed your scriptures and you're believing God if you haven't prayed in tongues over it you haven't done all mm -hmm. having done all to stand and lots of times you got to keep praying in tongues keep praying in tongues keep confessing keep it going keep up on your most holy faith Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think who would this be talking about be the Holy Ghost he's the one who's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think especially if it's in the earth you understand now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think they ask or think, ask or think. so he's able to do beyond what you can think are you here mm -hmm. you can't wrap your mind around it now unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly or beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us how did the power get in you the power comes after the saying you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you he's able to do beyond what you can think according to the power at work in you according to the amount of power that's working in you which equates to the amount that you are speaking in other tongues he'll be able to do beyond all you can ask or think are you here yes. but you must work it you're the one who speaks in faith God can't make you speak in tongues you getting anything out of this your faith should be increased in your ability to speak with other tongues first Corinthians 14 look at verse 4 it says he that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself builds himself up Jude said we build ourselves up on our most holy faith meaning we're able to say the things as we ought why are you saying them as you ought because the Holy Ghost is giving you utterance you still here mm -hmm. first Corinthians 14 verse 18 Paul is saying this I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all because Paul knew these things that I'm talking about right now Amen. it builds him up on his most holy faith he's able to say things as he ought mm -hmm. he's able to speak 
according to the power that's working in him and have it do super abundantly far over and above all he can ask or think go back up to verse 14 mm -hmm. for if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prays but my understanding is unfruitful look at it what is it then verse 15 1 Corinthians 14 verse 15 what is it then I will say I will, I will. your will has something to do with it. I will pray with the Spirit or I will say with the Spirit. if I'm saying with the Spirit what is he talking about I'm speaking in other tongues I'm saying things in other tongues things things what is it then I will pray with the Spirit I will pray with the understanding also but I will pray with the Spirit speaking in tongues requires no particular talent but it requires a willingness to speak as the Holy Ghost gives you the utterance they began to speak and you have to be willing to speak you understand this mm -hmm. and a willingness to speak in faith until say a willingness, a willingness to, speak to speak in faith, in faith. Until. until now we have a lot of faith now about speaking in tongues because of what I've just preached on but you have to be willing to speak in faith until until what until the thing that you're speaking that you are desiring comes to pass or comes to fruition transforming power will come as you speak in tongues life transforming power family transforming power finance transforming power youth renewal transforming power shall come to you says the Spirit of the Lord as you speak in other tongues and give your will to me that I may say the things that need to be, need to be said and declared over your life and when I when I say them through you they come to pass quickly so rest in me and be glad and be faithful and you shall see great things come to you in Jesus name amen mm -hmm.